Hey guys, welcome to another episode and this time we have another X670E motherboard, amazing one, uh, and again from ASUS, uh, the model is ProArt Creator Wi-Fi and as the name suggests it's aimed at professionals and content creators, it has some nice features like USB 4 with up to 40 gigabits per second transfer also 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports and so on plus all the all, all the features of, of of the x670 chipset including like pci express 5 so that's really really nice motherboard and i really like the look of it and what's wrong with the motherboard let me show you I have the board on my desk now and as you can see it looks brand new, it's clean and it's nice, it looks like taken out of the box like directly from the shop. Um, so what's wrong with it? You probably can guess, it's something with the socket. And so if we remove the protection you can already see a spot over here which reflects the light differently than the other pins so yeah you can see it a little close up definitely a few pins are messed up there they are not bent or, or twisted or, or or broken but looks like something fell on, on on the on the socket in this place and it kind of pushed them down so basically what i need to do i need to lift them somehow and make sure they don't break um, so i'll do that i'll show you the video from the microscope but one thing to note here i cannot synchronize the vision in my microscope when i look through the goggles with what you see on through the camera on, on the on the screen so i cannot get the same level of sharpness on both so in this case i need the best sharpness i can get from the goggles to do such precise work so the picture you will see may not be super clear i'll try to maybe do something in the middle so it's it's good enough for me and 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 it's okay for you of course the video will be faster because it may take some time to straighten the pins it's not super exciting thing to watch so i'll just do like a time lapse make it faster just for you to see how i do it and yeah let's try okay so with the smaller magnification you can see that uh, those pins here in, in in the center of the screen are they look different than the other ones around it around those um yeah and now i can do the max magnification on my microscope and that's what we see here of course i have to move it with this magnification because not all of the pins fit the screen but you can see uh, more or less here so yeah i'll try to fix them and get back to you Alright, so as you can see I have everything assembled, the motherboard with the CPU, two RAM sticks, my test RAM sticks, 
and the graphics card let me turn it on oh, actually started by itself and what's going on we have ram led and it's stuck on ram led still stuck on the ram led do we have oh it turned off restarting the board still stuck at ram led so the yellow one red one with the cpu white one which is boot no sorry vga and boot green one and that means we have a picture okay uh, the system uh, okay f1 to run setup and we should go into the bios and as you can see we can see both sticks of ram ryzen 7500f and the temperatures and everything so it looks fine uh, let me test let me insert the ssd and test everything in windows i'll run maybe cinebench or something and see if everything works unfortunately i had to disassemble the setup uh, and the reason is that i found two problems so one problem is that um, windows was working everything was working fine but once i uh, selected to shut down windows windows was shutting down and the board was like switching off but the fan on the cpu was still spinning uh, so and i could only switch it off fully by by pressing the power button it's not a big deal but definitely it's something wrong with the cpu socket so i will uh, i will correct uh, the pins again uh, also the other issue was that uh, if I populated bank A2 and B2 uh, the board was working but the other two RAM slots were not working and I only have two RAM sticks to actually test that uh, so yeah I, I tried like both those sticks in A1 and B1 and also in uh, like only one of those sticks in any of those two uh, RAM slots and it didn't boot but also since we are back at, under the microscope I will show you actually a uh, quite nice technique and uh, and nice tool to actually bend the pins back so I bought this dental pick from Aliexpress and actually I prefer this end of it Okay, can we get the focus on the pins now? I'll show you how I how I bend the pins. So I'm I'm not gonna run through all of them. I'll do that offline, uh, of camera. But uh, just to show you the the technique. So if you like, you know, slide it in like 45 degrees angle below the the damaged pin, actually even more like this, and then you push it fully to the end like so. And then you can evenly apply the pressure to actually bend it up as much as you need and then you slide the pick out and it, it should be fine so maybe this will be useful for you guys who are uh, fixing the, the the sockets it's working for am5 i'm sure it will work for lga 1700 as well so for intel those pins are almost identical so i hope it will be something useful for you and we are back running windows this time and so two issues i mentioned before one that when i was shutting down the the computer uh, everything was shutting down like the windows was closing and and the motherboard was shutting down but the fan was still spinning like this and I had to short the power button or press the power button to actually switch it off fully. Uh, so after uh, fixing the pins again, correcting uh, and then bending it back again, uh, this issue is actually, actually resolved. Uh, 
the other one was um, the problem with RAM. So I could run uh, the memory in banks A2 and B2 here without any problem but whenever I put them in the other two banks so A1 or, or B1 it didn't work it doesn't matter if I put uh, both RAM sticks or just write one in, in any of those ports uh, slots it, it, it didn't work basically and I, I, I thought it may be related to the damaged pins in the socket because some of the data pins related to memory were actually in this area that I was fixing. However, right now I think it's not the pro it, it, it wasn't the problem. The problem I think was that, well, it, it's kind of the motherboard logic. So A2 and B2 are like the preferred uh, re recommended slots for running two memory sticks. So, I think only when you populate A2 and B2, only then you can add two additional sticks in A1 and B1. So, and luckily, as, as you can see, I, I bought two more memory modules, so I, I could test it. And with four memory modules, it works just fine. Um, so yeah, that's probably the case, because if, if I run now uh, any of those two, two sticks into A1 and B1, it won't work. So I think it's just the logic of, of, of the memory slots here. So not an issue. And to prove that I can show you CPU-Z, the memory section we have 48 gigabytes, which is two sticks of eight. So my memory modules, my test modules, and two sticks of 16 gigabytes. So the new ones I just bought. It's time to summarize the repair. So as you could see, uh, everything is working. All the RAM slots are working. M.2 uh, slot is working. PCI Express for graphics card and all the ports at the back are working. So as it is, the board is fully functional and working. And since I mentioned, I have something in, in mind, something else than the other MATX motherboard uh, I put, I made a video about two episodes ago. Uh, this is a full ATX board, so I'll be using this one as, in, as, as the main one in my rig for editing together with my Ryzen 7700 and those two 16 gigabyte sticks of Corsair memory. That's Corsair Vengeance running at 6000 megahertz, so kind of a sweet spot for AM5. Also, big thanks to Daniel, who kindly sold me this motherboard before leaving Poland. Thank you, mate, if you're watching this, and wish you good luck with whatever you're doing right now. I promise to make a good use of this motherboard. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. See you in the next one.